What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Brutii. And I was going to assault this force manually, but I think the actual battle that will be more interesting is fighting the Thracians back here. Um, so I think I'm actually going to auto this one, just so I can more easily get on to fighting the more interesting battles later on. So, bit of an executive decision there. Uh, but I, th it's, I think it's driven by the right decisions. Because I don't want... I don't want uh, to spend my time, waste my time fighting battles that don't matter. Like a little bit of action every now and then is great, and I do understand and accept that. But the problem is, is that most of my, like both of both of these cities were just very poorly defended, and they may actually become more. Can you imagine it's a quiet. to get back here and put some more of our own resources under our control. Uh, but yeah, like there's no point fighting battles that don't really matter. Especially when I, over when I overwhelm a major city so much. Dear friend. Counter offer. Trade. Map info, map info. A most generous proposal. Good. We don't need to be friends. We just need to know where each other's at. Hello, there's another Thracian territory to the north. Up here. Lovacis. Okay, let's pick up some... Well, let's start to... Move up these early legionaries up to Akinsum. Let's get rid of the law. The well, actually, first of all, auto merge. Let's get rid of the weaker units. You focus on upgrading your cavalry contingent. It's Jessica to the south. Keep building early legionaries to march north. Go. So doing that. There. Whoops. Okay, so that's using Alt. Using a uh, pressing Alt to pick a like a deployment location. Ultimately, these are going to be quite specific cities geared towards assault. So they're likely going to look a bit funky. Well, they're going to be geared to assaulting a Roman a Roman city, so they're not going to necessarily be full of cavalry. They're likely to have more heavy infantry. Ah, oh, Tillis has got over it. Good. So then this army can go up to Campus Lazigens. Keep on the offensive. Love of them. I know we've said we're going to attack the Germans, but it makes more sense to push north, knock out Lovasis. A chance for power. Holy, holy moly. Holy moly. Right, okay. A chance for power. Your popularity among the people of Rome is unmatched. The plebeians would welcome you as a new saviour of Rome should you choose to march on the city. Now is the time to deal with the old men of the Senate and the allies that skulk alongside them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's... Men! Let us build! Oh, Praetorian cavalry. They look great! Okay, Larissa, you're going to build a bunch of Praetorian cavalry just because I like Praetorian cavalry. So what can I recruit and where can I recruit it that's the most useful? Get some Praetorians built here. We want to get these camps filled up. I mean, I know the these ones are don't no, don't necessarily matter so much because the Julii don't really have a garrison in there. But I do want them to be pretty strong in the event that these guys come marching back. It's a Croton. 
you get to work on urban cohorts as well. Apollonia, you can re only recruit early legionaries. That's not quite what I'm after. So Tarentum, build. Practice range. Start to crank up the uh, ability to produce siege engineers or siege siege weapons. Athens, you can probably stand to build. Great Forum, Corinth, you can build also a Great Forum, Kydonia, you can probably build maybe large stone walls, Sparta, build an amphitheatre, Rhodes, you can build Academy. It's the first Academy I think I've built. <laughs> Pergamum, you can build a Pantheon, you can media. Also build a pantheon. All these territories to the east I may as well try and make happier. Tillis, let's build a mine. Mazaka. Build an arena. Sinop, build... Okay, now let's build a trader. Polaris into the north. Build a... Build a uh, temple and then a sewer. And Campus Ghetto to the north. Build a temple. Okay, I think they're on their way. I can see them all marching. Well, it looks like it looks like they some of them have turned around and they're coming this way. Let's keep keep our retraining going strong. Okay, so the ability to fight off against the other Romans is going to be but the need to fight off against the other fight off the other Romans will be pretty big, chiefly the Julii, uh, because they are the ones who have the power. I mean, we are by by a large margin the most powerful faction in the region. But when I declare on the Romans, I want to declare on them all. I want to fight. I want to put every well the bulk of their cities on the continent under siege. Let us now. You want a ceasefire? No. Until next time. Uh oh. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm surprised they didn't even follow that with an accept or we will attack. We're Faction leader died. Titus the Angry. No! So hold on, let's have a look at the Senate. Oh, we've most we filled up most of it. I think it's because our faction leader died, we lost the top. We lost the top spot. Okay, so. Family tree. Tertius is now the faction leader. I mean Secundus. Secundus Brutus is going to be our it's going to be our new faction heir. Secundus, Secundus, Secundus. Secundus Brutus. Apparently loyal. Well, if I lose him to a bribe, that's going to be pretty lame. Yeah, as much as I, I can, as much as I can declare on the, as much as I can declare on the other. Uh, on the other Roman factions, I do just need to spend the time hunkering down Apollon Apollonia. Instead of doing nothing, you can build up a heavy fleet because we're going to need to fight fight these chaps. I, to be honest, I want these guys to try and assault us because I've not done a proper siege defence yet. So march these guys up. Take a few turns. You can push on to campus thingamajig. Okay, to be honest, I probably don't need all that cavalry. I might just want to build a town watch to hold the city. If you guys leave. Yeah, they don't they don't like it, but they'll get used to it. Push up and hit the next Thracian city. Because ultimately that could be a lot of 
a lot of our enemies knocked out in one well, a lot of three knocked out in one blow by the looks of it inactive stuff do not care let's get rid of all of that croton uh, let's get croton to build up a stable as if to if um tarantum is going to build up a artillery range polonia build an army barracks salona build an army barracks Lycanasus, build an aqueduct. Sardis, build a temple. Actually, let's build a great forum. Let's get rid of some of the cultural penalties. Okay, okay good. I want to see if Thrace attacks me. That's what I want to see. So I have to sally, I will sally, but I'd rather they assaulted me, because like I said, I've, I have yet to fight a proper siege defence. But then again, they don't have the numbers to fight me in a siege defence. Hello Egypt, what are you up to? What are you after, Armenia? Dear friend. Counter offer. No alliance. And just trade map info. A most generous proposal. Ah, Armenian merchants. Sending forward those urbans. So they haven't. Oh, they've. Really, they've ended the siege. Very well. Tillis, instead of doing nothing, you're going to recruit. A string of town watch to get ready to send north. You guys blockade the port. You guys march on towards their next city. Same with you. Can you join them? Said Aquinson. Yeah, just keep building garrisons. Hello. Bonk. Who shall die this day? Bonk. Oh, I missed him. Pillars waiting for orders. You see, look at these rebels. They're intercepting all this. Intercepting a whole bunch of trade income. And they're just peasants. Okay, let's start to get some ships over here. Maybe that's what this army this army might be geared for uh, fighting the Romans. He says, having built four cavalry. Well, I suppose I might keep this a bit more of a general purpose army. Is Urban's in there? You recruit some Praetorians. You're still recruiting some Urbans, so between them. Now almost fill them up. You can build a Praetorian as well. You're en route. To be honest, you might, you might become a new garrison or you might push over and go fight. And again, fighting phalanxes on a bridge isn't usually a good idea. Yeah, don't worry about all that. Oh, I kicked that Thracian merchant off of our spot. Okay, let's get ready. I think Carthage might be might might be working out what's up. Orders, orders. 
So you guys siege siege love assist you guys with your onages you can just attack well, let's take campus lazy jazz we haven't fought anything in ages potentially well, let's say potentially do i then hold do i take these territories then when i get to campus city uh, try and make peace and hold them off at the river instead. Nah, let's not do that. Onagers. Come on, hold on, right click and drag. There we go. So then, behind, so going in the right hand breach, we've got these four troops. Going into the left hand breach, we're going to have. We're going to have uh, these four troops. Our archers are just going to hold fire. A whole bunch of cavalry, including legionaries. There we go. General at the head of his legions. Cavalry. Deploy. These phalanx plague men—they've not got—they've not got very good spears, have they? There we go. Yeah, so we're both targeting two different stretches of wall. Swarm, 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 attack Pan Alpha. Okay. These legionaries won't screw around. Okay, good. We've got one of them to change their mind. And we've got both of them to change their mind. Actually, let's get them all. You guys all attack that broken unit just to make sure we do kill them. Although it looks like they don't want to. You can, can you guys hear that? Or orders completed. Okay, they really don't. Well, fine. It's annoying because it means I'll get into the city. But if my archer, if my cavalry won't take him out then uh, doesn't really matter look at those guys the other unit shattered as soon as they were touched. My cavalrymen lose a bunch of men charging into the rear of a damn phalanx unit. Make up your mind about which way you want to face. They're steady and they're eager for a to a cavalry charge in the rear and they broke a damn legionary cavalry unit that is ludicrous the enemy 
General Fleece. That's so dumb. Yes, these guys have regrouped, but they're running into the town. My legionary cavalry did come back. There we go, there goes the enemy general. He did temporarily switch to fighting to the death, which I don't want. Okay, now these guys are getting it. Well, look at that for a pathfinding. All right, you know what? Abandon him. Get back to the walls. Let's carry on my endeavor to smash our way in. And once we've knocked down the walls, although it looks like I've done it very, very, very tight. We, we only just get enough um, ammo for an onager to knock down one section of wall. Okay, this is dodgy. Very dodgy. Let's rush in. Because one of our units needs to go in and capture these gatehouses. I'm pretty sure I can run in Run in. As you know, get you guys to both attack there, get you guys to auto run up there, get you guys to auto run up here. Because these hoplites shouldn't stand. No. So then what needs to happen is what should happen, at least slowly. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. So we need to get some men to fight their way up here. Fight the guys up on the. Fight the guys up on the up on the walls. Otherwise, uh, we all die. But at least that's the walls or the bulk of the walls secured. So these guys need to cut up these phalanx pikemen in order to entirely secure the wall. Right, our men were streaming up there. So it shouldn't be that long before we kill the phalanx pikemen. Bring our cavalry in as well. There we go. We've taken the, the brutii. They've, they've taken the gatehouse. Yeah, he's fighting his pikemen fighting to the death. There go. They can't advance too close to our position, otherwise, they get engaged from the towers that are now ours. Quickly, 
Let's get some men in to go fight these phalanx pikemen. New men. Peel they're ready. Fire! Oh, they've marched close to the gate. So the arrows are coming in. Okay, actually, no, you guys take the tower. This legionary unit. Everyone run that way, except the Praetorians. You guys get in. Keep these legionaries on a, on a Grand and Mary race around the entire city wall. So what have they got left? Peasants, some some pikes, that's about it. My cavalry contingent can push up to try and engage their general. Also bring our general into the mix as well. But come on, you guys get in there. Then run around. Hey, look at the aqueduct. Get this neat water water effects. Okay, so where's all my troops? So let's get him into the mix. My archers. And let's speed up time. Because right now it's just a bunch of my men getting into position. You guys take position take position this entrance to the square. Ah. A small unit of pikes. Okay. Spread my men out like so. Although well, they broke anyway. swarm the phalanx pikemen Charge that you the phalanx. Get you guys past. And you guys charge into the rear. You're hacking their way through my. You know, hacking through my infantry, but they, all they've got to do is just hold. And eventually they'll run out of puff before their peasants run out of puff. General's bodyguard is going to get into position. There you go. They're going to use up all their hit points. And then eventually the end will be 
Swift and brutal. So where's their Kingaroo? There he is. Surrounded in a sea of green. That's just a unit of peasants. <laughs> Poor old peasants. Four peasants left. <laughs> awesome. The day is ours. Good stuff. So this city is going to get exterminated. Extermination can be a bit of a problem if you keep pushing. If you keep pushing and ex exterminating your frontline cities, eventually you're going to come up to problems. But the thing is, when their city gets, when you get, a, like, what's this? This is a, a large city, so I don't need to build anything to re to replenish or to re uh, or to uh, reinforce my men. At least there's nothing I need to build that I can't already build. Like I can build barracks to build Praetorian cohort. Like I don't need to. Uh, I don't need the city to grow to build something new. It does mean I'll get some culture penalties, but eh. Sweet, so that's them taking out. You're maintaining siege. Polarism, let's make sure you are retraining all your men, because it looks like we've got some good armor armor buildings there. Campus Gete. Let's we're gonna get rid of this. Actually, no, let's auto-merge. We've consumed the Triari entirely. We can retrain this unit to have some better... Uh... We can retrain this unit to have some better armour. We can't retrain the archers. Let's get rid of those mercenary hoplites as well. So we need an archie to replace them. Let's get... Let's get two units of Praetorians. Can my agent assassinate anyone of note? Captain's governor? Too bad it takes them a while to get there, but let's do it. So you're moving up ready to take position as governor here before pushing onto Campus City. Ooh, okay. You need to start recruiting some basic legionary cohort and Roman cavalry just to start to replace the forces you've got prior to marching out against the Germans. Turn term, let's go straight into archery range. It's Jessica. Let's build Hippodrome, Thermon, let's build an urban barracks, Thessalonica, let's build Awesome Temple of Juno. Roads, you can build an academy. Lovavum, you can build probably large stone walls. Ankara, some crop rotation going on. Byzantium is now upset with us. Very well. Peasants, peasants for everyone. Tillis, build a, build a, actually no, build a aqueduct. Zaka, build a Proconsul's Palace. Sinop, build a Sewers. Campus Gete to the north. You can build large stone walls. I think it's probably a good call. So this was Capture the Rebel Settlement, wasn't it? Tarsus. Yeah, it was. Oops. Okay, let's take you men out, Praetorians out, swap for Urbans, swap for early legionaries. I've got lots of Sicilian pirates. Bear in mind with Sicilian pirates, they're not terrible units. But let's go. <laughs> Man, this is just that's just not. Yeah, let's just auto that. Exterminate the population. Again, retraining is gonna be a problem. Repair the temples, build the barracks. 
And the armies can auto merge. Good, so we've bought ourselves some time to the east. Need to start getting ready to buy some. Well, I've got Assassina. And then this chap. There we go. Keep knocking them out. Urbans. Straight up to Tarsus. And here on the mainland, more urbans. To be honest, should get some Velite gladiators in there. Okay, now you really start to need onagers. Yeah, there we go. Put some onagers, because it looks like Capua's probably got the yeah, epic stone walls, so let's get some a good amount of onagers. Hello, kiss your Vicarnus. Is that a new chap? Coming of age. Yep, it is. Imperator. Imperator. Urban's in. You're recruiting Praetorians. You're recruiting Praetorians. Okay, two Praetorians and an Urban. That'll see Imperator. this guy off. Salona. Build the temple. I'm glad everyone's generally a lot happier. So over here at Love of them, you're starting to recruit. We've got a merchant. Yes. Okay, let's put the merchant push the merchant up to their territory. Okay. Just keep recruiting. We probably don't need the best army we've got, but I think I may as well just build oh, night raiders. God damn. Might be might be better if I just if I do just boost my uh, Troops a little bit. Yeah, you're maintaining the siege. Ten thousand denarii for putting Tarsus to the sword. Okay, you go there, you go there, you go there. Just a yeah, it's just a peasant, so I started gonna be peasants in a straight fight. See I don't know how much of a problem it's gonna be ending up fighting the war fighting a war against the Germans, chiefly because I have no visibility on their strength. But then again, this is why we have charts. <gasps> Egypt has declared on us! I wondered if this was going to happen. Blockade Port Jerusalem. Ready to sail. Very Ready well, to sail. you men. Aye, aye. Get into Tarsus. We train. I would love to send men forward to take the city. Chariots. Okay, I might send this army when it's recruited. Go and take Salamis. And it looks like I might sink. Okay, Rhodes, retrain your ships. Also, while you're retraining at a Trireme, let's navy get into Kydonia. I need to start to rebuild my navy because I think I've let it slip. You're up there keeping an eye on the Black Sea. You fight. Small Thracian stack. Retrain the boats. There you're here. See, I was keen to get the uh, keen to get the Egyptians on site, on side. Uh, for peace terms, for well, not peace terms, but you know, non-war. Okay, looks like this guy's on his way. 
to Cyrene. It's got basic wood walls, which isn't what we need. Okay, what I need is... Well, it'll take them a few turns to march over here. We could probably get stone walls in that time. Besides which, I'm going to land troops to come and fight them here anyway. Now, okay, cavalry Pharaoh's guards are pretty good. It's those chariots that I'm not so good about. I'm not so not so sure about. Yeah, when this navy's replenished, we're going to start to uh, stick it to them. Betrayed. Let's hit and turn. I don't know if I killed their general or not. <laughs> hmm. I do really need to upgrade the roads in Turkey to make sure my troops can progress up to the front line as quickly as possible. Egypt also look like they're expanding their fleet. Once I've taken these two Thracian cities, or this last Thracian city, Parthia has been destroyed. Once I've taken out this last Thracian city, I am probably going to try and make peace. I mean, it's not impossible for me to march out and just take the city with less than a full stack. But then again, I don't have the military production capacity behind me to stop Tarsus from freaking out. Okay, go put Jerusalem under blockade. General, march. These men are nearly finished. Imperator. Okay, instead of actually, I'm not going to sail over there with a bare bones fleet. I'm probably going to take this big fleet to transport them over there safely. Cydonia, you keep recruiting roads. build one of those okay, croton just keep just everyone just keep building just keep building because right now we need production production capacity and we need it quick Although, to be honest, lots of my cities don't actually, are actually, uh, they're pretty good. It's not to the north. Let's build a basic mine. Polarism, let's build baths. Campus, Lechige, let's build a, let's build a new temple and a wall. Okay, you guys. probably an auto resolve as well. They're all militia hot plates and well, detonators, damn it, all militia hot plates and skirmishes. Slave the population. Do I have a handy dandy diplomat nearby? Probably not. Stop recruiting. Get a diplomat to try and put. Actually, let's check my list of agents to see if I've got any diplomats nearby. Germany, Egypt. You're on. Just see if there's any Thracian agents nearby. There's one right there. But I can't get to him. little warriors that could. Oh, they finally got defeated. Move out. 
Yeah, see this set this city isn't in good nick. Should really have not. Should really have not um knocked knocked all that stuff down. Let's build some auxilia. City grows, Byzantium. City expands, Ankara. The worthy life ends, faction destroyed. It's all good stuff. So I could march out. How would you go? Well, okay, you can actually build some reasonable troops to protect yourself. Get rid of that unit of cavalry. If you all left, you'd be really unhappy, right? Pretty unhappy. What if I left one of each unit behind? Oh, it'd probably be easier if I just stick around till things are built. These guys are all pretty knackered. Okay, let's check the Senate chart. <laughs> yeah, well, supposedly we're, we're pretty darn good. Military ranking, territorial ranking, financial ranking. I mean, Egypt's creeping up. Egypt is creeping up. But this is part of the reason why I want... Yeah, want well, this army to sail and go hit Sardis, Salamis to go and secure Crete, and potentially you could end up hitting Antioch or maybe Sidon. Sidon. If Tarsus hits Antioch, then you guys might push on and hit Sidon. While this force here at Cyrene just uh, keep growing. I don't want to make peace, but keep you nearby, just in case. While our construction of troops, while well, our production of troops to go and raid or go destroy and attack the Roman factions continues on. Armenian troops on the move. Spanish agent. Oh, Spanish diplomat. Hello. Hello. Oh. Well, nuts to you. No, Thracian diplomat. Don't run away. Although that's why I built one up here. Can I be of service? Be quick. Our patience is limited. Regretfully, we must decline. They're de okay, they're going to decline peace. All right. My, my garrison. Yeah. That's the faction leader. Apparently it's a toss of a coin. God damn. My guys didn't win, didn't do any damage. Oh well. Eh, just stay inside. If they want to try anything, they're more than welcome. Okay, so Athens, Corinth recruit the last Praetorians. You guys get aboard ship. You guys sail over to Salamis. More Egyptian navies on the way, but not good ones. Okay, we really do need to boost our naval production Ready to sail. Ready to sail. Fair mind you can sail over and join this fleet
So this one down here, this fort down here is pretty much full. So it's pretty much ready until I get those onagers in to knock down the walls of Capua. It's very much over over strength for what I need, but I also want to prep, take out Arimnia, Mauritium, and Rome in one fell swoop. A suitable husband, Servelius Marcellus. Yes. So where is he at? Croton. Take position in one of these forts. So he's sixty. He's up. he's going to pop at any minute. He's not even the governor anymore. Numerius Corpulentus has been replaced by Augustus Hortensius, and uh, at 19, he's the better governor already. I might just get rid of that auxiliary cavalry, because I'm never going to use it. Numerius has been churning out some decent cavalry, so let's then ship them south. So you are... Placus Vicanus is 59. Okay, let's actually leave you behind. This detachment will be led by a captain. Three more turns till we've got all of the. Two more turns till we've got all of the onagers we need. Uh, Thermon. Pick up a ship ready to sail these guys over. Actually, I could probably send this navy. You guys go over to here. Because this thing to bear in mind is you might start seeing armies come after us from the sea. Fortunately, there isn't any for now. This army's not even moving. Territory down here, Siwa, but that's not what I'm interested in for now. One more turn till Cyrene pops by the looks of it. Assassin keep knocking off merchants. You guys getting to sim up finally. There we go, we've blockaded Jerusalem and that's made the Senate happy. The Julii's agents spread throughout the land. What say you? You're going to try and bribe me? Yeah, I think not. Oh, actually, the urbans go in here, don't they? Let's take these. Actually, let's take out Hastati, Town Watch, Prince Pays. In the urbans go. Because this is the beginnings of a garrison. So if you drop out, unsurprisingly Tarsus really doesn't like us until we drop all these guys in. Hurrah! And then keep building Town Watch while we keep building new barracks buildings. And this army marches onward to Antioch. Then this ship sails on. No troops aboard. Now we go, let's join another fleet just to make sure they do not get intercepted and destroyed. Retrain what you've got. You join with them. Sparta's one more onager away. These ships sail into Sparta. You join them. Next fleet. Or next. Next turn, these oranges will be ready. We can sail them up to Italian, the Italian peninsula. Orders. Good stuff. So the SPQR is going to be the tricky one. I mean, well, tricky-ish. They've got lots of not good units. Equites, legionaries, ballistas, hastati. Yeah, there's lots of scope here to do good stuff. Tarantum build a 
foundry would probably would have been good before I started doing this entire endeavor. Polonia Academy, Thessalonica build. Heavy armor doesn't repeat. Ballistas are useful, but they're not critical at this stage. Balazor to the north, build a Pantheon. Roads, build land clearance to finally get rid of the last bit of cultural problems. Love of them to the north, get a catapult range. Sardis, build a city plumbing. Cyrene, build a governor's palace because he finally grown. Dilis, build awesome temple of Juno. Nazaka, build another temple. Sinop, build a temple as well. Campus get a build a another temple as well. To be honest, temples across the board. I could just send my entire garrison out, chase them away. Merge. Get rid of this unit of equites. Gives us scope to get a couple of Roman cavalry units. I said I was gonna fight these. I said I was gonna fight these guys, but it's really not merged. This is their last city, isn't it? I believe. I get my diplomat out of the way. Can they make it to the? Well, let's fight them. Um, I'm going to draw out the garrison from the city. This could be a bit of a bridge battle, so it might be a bit... Well, we're on the bridge, I suppose. Um, but, looking at the timer, we're near as damn at the end of the episode, so... Sorry this has been a really long episode of not a lot going on. Um, but Rome is more of a slow burn than other Total War games. And kind of this... Rome Master itself is a pretty slow burn, really. Um, but, anyway... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the last Thracian forces. I think if we take this city, they're out of the game. We're not, well, we're not fighting in the city yet, but once we fight these troops, uh, they will have no troops remaining. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.